I am so stoked for this breakfast. It's a dozen eggs, kale, and then steak left over from last night. It's been a really tough day. I've walked two miles, and now I had to stop because my ice cream is melting and I have to eat this ice cream. And if it keeps up like this, I don't know if I can make it. It's just really, really hard out here in the wilderness. Standing up here on Buzzard Rock. Um, great view behind, great view behind me. It's supposed to start raining today. Um, so, getting cooler, but I actually don't mind. It's been so hot the last few days. I actually felt nauseous yesterday climbing up in the middle of the day because of how hot it was. So it's kind of nice to have it cool off. In the 50s right now. Rain is starting, so time to put away the camera. It's pretty windy. It's blowing me around some. Reminds me of a little bit of being in the whites. Of course, now as I film, the wind dies. <laughs> but it's starting to rain, it's getting windy, it's not too cold yet. So, whatever, I'll just keep walking. Really big rock. Coming down pretty steadily now. It's a good day for new shoes. Got much better tread on these guys. Wow, I just really love these kind of forests. All the green moss, the pine needles. Wow. Look at these trees. It's kind of eerie. Pretty nasty out right now. I think that rain is turning into freezing rain. There's a shelter coming up. I'm going to put on some rain pants and some more layers. It's a high school group out here. It's weather right now. I'm gonna keep moving though, this shelter's full and that's what you gotta do. This is a big difference in the calendar year. I can't stop when it's nasty. The trail, once again a river. It's really too bad that it's so nasty out. This is one of my favorite sections on the HE. Probably not going to get to see any ponies. God, it's windy. And it's hail and frozen rain coming down now. to make much effort walking because the wind's just pushing me. Even still though, look at this view. Get to see a different side of the highlands. Listen to that wind. Whew. It's a little more calm on this side of the mountain. It's beautiful. It's cold. Wet. Look at how 
sideways I have to go. That's ridiculous. This is what's called type 2 fun. I'm still having fun though. It's all temporary. I got enough layers on that I'm not too cold. And I'll get dry tonight when I get to camp. Whew. All right, I gotta put my gloves back on. Can you see this? So wet. Hi, buddy. It's pretty cold out here, huh? Look, more wild ponies. Ah, it's been a cold, wet day, but this is totally worth it. Hi, ponies. You're kind of big. Big ponies. Yeah. More ponies. Hi. <laughs> Hi. These are frozen. So that'll be fun. Rain stuff is frozen solid. Pretty terrible weather yesterday. Um, freezing rain, high winds, so I stopped a little early. The shelter was pretty full. There were like six kids from Ohio. There was a hiker, Unhurry, who had started around I think January 15th or 20th, something like that. And this morning all my stuff was frozen, my shoes were frozen, so that was like putting on a block of frozen ice, or I guess ice is frozen, but um, it's been so cold I've been able to wear this puffy for like a mile and a half, but now it's getting a little bit warmer. I need to take this off and do 30 plus today. Ton of ice again. Cold, cold, cold today. Hi, buddy. So majestic. It's actually turning out to be a pretty nice day. Um, no cloud in the sky. I think it's supposed to rain some more tonight, but right now it's nice. And it's not too hot. So take advantage of this and push some miles carried out some leftover steak from Damascus. It tastes so much better out here. All food does, but especially real food like this. It's hard to describe, but yeah, it's really good. So, apparently there's been a bridge removed and it says in times of high water, use the detour. Well, it rained like several inches last night, but I'm going to go for it. Can't be that bad. This is Comer's Creek Falls behind me. This is where that bridge was removed. It really, it's not bad at all. Uh, across way worse things on other trails, so it should be an easy rocks hop across. 
go from these rocks all the way across. You could also go this way, but if you slip, it looks much more catastrophic. Dry feet, no problem. Let's see how early I am. Um, goes from November, December, January to March. That's it. Like five people been through here. I think about this question of why do I hike a lot? I think when I first started in the beginning, um, it was more of a blow down here. <laughs> more of an intuitive sense that there has to be more to this life than the mundane, boring nine to five. And as I hike, this will be, so this will be my fourth through hike really. Um, what I have come to recognize is that being out here helps me to really embody and come into a place within myself that feels the most genuine, the most real version of me that I've ever experienced. Um, it's a place where I feel super grounded within myself. Um, it's a place without fear, without anxiety, place where I have just complete faith in myself and kind of in the universe at large. And Six thirty. Um, I've got three and a half miles to the partnership shelter. It's supposed to start raining again around eight, so I'll get there just before the rain. Hopefully, that's my plan. Um, gosh, pretty easy day today. Very gentle, gradual, well graded climbs. I like that. Trail magic from Jim, who I met in 2016. Civil engineer. And you're from further south than I am. Sometimes those, those words slide together. Civil <laughs> engineer. It's all my work. <laughs> all right. Well, happy trails, Jim. Oh, Quadzilla, Jack, man. What a great time to see you again. It's been a delight. You're gonna, you're gonna have an incredible, incredible year. I know. I'll thanks tell you, for bye. Being my friend. <laughs> well, thanks for meeting me up here. It's so nice to meet y'all, Slick hey, and Tyvek. Hey, hey, enjoy your great yeah. adventure, and thanks for letting us be a little, a small part yeah, of it. Yeah, glad to share the universe with you, man. I like that. <laughs> this is a very um, stereotypical Appalachia Trail morning. It's wet, it rained all night, there's patches of fog all around. I think this is day 21 or 22, it's March 9th. Um, had a really magical night last night at Partnership Shelter. My friend Jim came there, he brought pizzas and burgers and fruit and salad. And uh, so they worked out, because Partnership is where you can order a pizza and they'll deliver, but I got there pretty late. Um, yeah, and Jim, I met him in 2016. He was finishing his section hikes of the AT. And he's a really interesting guy. He's retired, been a psychiatrist for, I think, 44 years, he said. Um, has incredible, interesting stories. He's into a lot of the weird stuff that I am, like, uh, Robert Monroe, out-of-the-body stuff, uh, spirit communications, just 
very interesting topics. And at the shelter was Tyvek and Slick, um, both through hiking. Uh, Tyvek recently retired. He had been uh, doing life coaching stuff and, you know, into all those same things. And then Slick uh, did 21 years in the Army as a Green Beret, Special Forces. So, very interesting guy as well. Um, and we just had the best conversation. One of those where you, I get tingles up my spine. It's like, this is something special. And that was exactly where I was meant to be that day. Um, and yeah, we just had talked about life and universe and all sorts of uh, things a little bit far further out there. And we just had a great time. And it was a really great reminder of um, the magic of the trail and how, you know, there's more to life than the material world. Um, and there's a lot of real magic in, in life and kind of a reminder of the spiritual reasons for why I hike. And yeah, so that was a really, really cool night. I really enjoyed it. More rain, at least it's not too cold, and it should stop, I don't know, midday-ish, hopefully. Water is very high today, as you can expect when it's rained all night. This is the trail. I'll try and stay dry, but probably won't last long. There's a little Mexican restaurant inside that gas station. I had chimichanga, fajita nachos, and I got a burrito to go. Now I got 24 more miles, 6,000 feet of climbing. It's gonna be a long day. Holy crap, I've made it a quarter of the way to Maine already. This is day 22. Um, pretty wild. I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't paying attention at all, but yeah, I made it a quarter of the way there. Man, it is getting really cold. Feels like, I think it's below freezing now, uh, especially with the wind chill. And coming up on this creek called Lick Creek, where it's another one with the bridges out, and reading the comments um, on Gut Hooks, so this hiking app that I use, people can make comments on it. Sounds like it's pretty high. Somebody said on the 25th of February, it went up to her hips. And we've just had two days of rain, several inches of rain. Um, a lot of these streams I'm crossing are pretty high. So uh, I'm gonna get there in the dark, in the cold, and that will be an interesting crossing, I think. Look at how swollen and flooded this creek is. Does not bode well for my creek crossing tonight. That's a really cool old barn over there. I wonder how old it is. Almost flooding that road. There's a warning about Lick Creek, 5.4 miles north. 
typically no more than knee deep, but may become hazardous after a heavy rain. It's rained for the last two days. So here's Lick Creek. Um, looks pretty deep. And it is 9.30. I'm gonna put everything away so if I do fall in, stuff stays dry and we'll push on across. I'm gonna go in right now without my pack just to see what the current's like and how deep it is and so I can get some on video. Ah, it's icy cold. All right, it's up to my thighs now. It's gonna be deep, it's gonna be cold. Oh well, it's what I signed up for, let's fucking go. I made it without any trouble at all. It wasn't that bad at all. The water isn't flowing very fast. It got up to um, like my butt, but I don't know, things are wet, my feet are cold, but wasn't dangerous. Um, trekking poles really help. I'm really glad, there's so many times out here I'm glad I have trekking poles, but especially on water crossings. But now, yeah, gonna get into camp, just being soaked, but better than being dead. And that's part of the adventure, you know, it's not a real adventure if there isn't an element of real danger. So, stuff like this um, gets your heart going and it's fun. Chestnut Knob Shelter. There's the shelter. There's actually four people in there last night, including Mars, who I had talked to on Instagram before starting. morning. I'd say upper 20s right now based on how it feels. Trees are all lined with ice and frost again. It's really kind of cool seeing this stuff though. I mean you don't get to see frosted trees on a normal AT through hike. Pretty amazing. This is just me all the time. <laughs> wow, that's how many noon tablets is that? Two. Ah. Vitamins. Wow, I believe this is Laurel Creek. Wonder what kind of loot this trail boss drops. Met Mars at the shelter, and we've been hiking pretty close with each other. He's from Switzerland, also doing a calendar year Triple Crown. Started in January sometime, I believe. Um, yeah, he's like one of six other people doing it this year. Trail around here is actually pretty nice. 
We're kind of following the contours, small ups and downs. This looks like a wildfire burn scar. All the trees are dead. It's pretty wild, you wouldn't think that on the east coast with all this rain, but still get it.